Happy Friday, everyone. Jumamu Barak Bahamaton, Shisliba Bapiatitsa. Our topic for today is the nine parts of speech. This topic should be taught when you were in beginner or elementary, okay? Again, this is the nine parts of speech. David Chastirech in Russian and in Tajik Nu Kisai Nuh in, in translation Kismati Nuh Okay, so why am I teaching you these nine parts of speech? Because others say it's seven parts. Others say it's eight parts, okay? But in reality, nine parts of speech, okay? We are talking about internationally accepted American English and internationally accepted British English. Not six, not seven, not eight, but we have nine. Did you understand? Again, how many parts of speech do we have? Nine. Nine. So let's start with noun. Noun in Russian, suchistvitelna, in Tajik, isim. So noun is anything that names a person, place, animal, or thing. In Russian, suchistvitelna, eta imya, chilavek, jivotni, mesta, veshi. In Tajik, Isim in nomi odamas, nomi asho, nomi haivon, nomi joy. You understand? So anything that is a name of a person, place, animal, or thing is a noun. Did you understand? Example, a girl is a noun. It's a common noun. What is common? Option. A girl is a common noun. Hannah is a proper noun. You understand? Isimhoi anik, isimhoi no anik. You understand? Hannah. It is a proper noun. Why? It starts with a capital letter. A girl is a common noun. Why? A girl can be Lilo, can be Nozanin, can be Hannah, can be Jerry Lynn. You understand? Everything that starts with a capital letter or a big letter, you call it? Proper noun. Naruska. Se shusitvit sushitvitil na katori na chanaitsa balshoi bukva at a proper noun na sabaitsa. You understand? Isi bohafi kalon sar me shabat in proper noun nom menamoya. You understand? Again, noun is the name of person, place, animal, or thing. In Tajik, Hangoma. Very good. In Russian, like Nozanin. Very good. Good job. Look at my shirt. Friday. Friday is a noun. Why? It is a name of a day. You understand? Look at your phones. iPhone, Samsung, Lenovo, Redmi, Xiaomi. It's a noun. Why? It's a proper noun because it is the name of a phone. Did you understand? Look at the place where you are right now. Faridun Learning Center. This is a noun. Why? This is the name of the place where you study. Did you understand? Again, noun is a name. Of a person, place, thing, or animal. Now let's go to prepositions. Okay, prepositions. These are short words that connect one word to another word. Okay. What is pre? What is the pre? Pe do. You understand? Pesh. Pre intermediate. Preview. Preposition. Position is posita. Okay? Meshta na kazene. Batojiki? Joy gil shavit. Pre is before. That's why these are words placed before nouns or pronouns to connect them to the sentence. Example. I am. I am. Smatrina Mayaruka. Look at my hands. I am Faridun Learning Center. Okay? We put preposition at. You understand? I am at 
Faridun Learning Center. The preposition at connects I am and Faridun Learning Center. Peshoyand. Peshoyand at sa idinat Paibas Mekuni Faridun Learning Center va I am. You understand? Did you understand or no? Yes. So, prepositions, these are words that we put before the nouns or pronouns to connect them to the other words in the sentence. In Taje, Lilo. Very good. Prepositions in Russian, Predlogi. In Tajik, Peshoyan Ho. Did you understand? And we have prepositions of time, Peshoyan Ho Iba, Predlogi Brema. We have prepositions of place, Predlogi Meste, Peshoyan Ho Joy. We have prepositions of movement, Peshoyan Ho Harakat, Predlogi Dvijene. Look, prepositions of time, in, on, at, Prepositions of place in, on, at. Prepositions of movement under, on, far from the box, away from the box, towards the box, up the stairs. We discussed this in Oxford and you know this from beginner elementary. Mitakle. In, on, at, under, above, and so on. Now let's go to pronouns. Okay. Pronouns. Pro means za. Example, I am pro-America. Yaza, storno America. Or, I am pro-Hana. Yanugluhana, Bozichem, Joshua. Pro means za. In Taje? Astarafi, yagon kas. Astarafi, yagon cheese. Okay? Pronouns. Yes, it does look na piribon. Za, suchis vitil na. Datarafi isim ho. Why? Look. Why do we need pronouns? Look, look at look at me, please. Pronouns, we use it to replace nouns. Mo jonishin ho, ba joy isim ho memonem. Mi pastave mesta imene na mesta chilave. Why? Example. Look and listen. Hannah is my teacher. Hannah is from the Philippines. Hannah is 33 years old. Hannah is Joshua's sister. Hannah works at Faridun Learning Center. Hannah has been living in Tajikistan since 2010. Hannah's mother is Angelita. Hannah's brother is Samuel and Josh. Samuel, younger brother. How many times did I say Hannah, 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 Hannah? A lot. And people who are listening to what I am saying will feel fed up. Na dai dai. You understand why? Hana, 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 hana. So we use pronouns to replace Hana. Hana is my teacher. She is from the Philippines. She teaches at Paragun Learning Center and others. You understand? Mo, Johnny Shin Ho is the Koda Mebarem. Ba Joy is in Ho. You understand? Mi is pod sebe, mesta imenish to be minyat, no mi chilabek. Sh to be paftarenya ni budi. Pasaboni to chiki, baroy, takror, nashodani, yak kalima. You understand? So we know it, we have personal pronouns or subject pronouns. Zunishinoi chaksi. We have Person of possessive adjective, and we have object pronouns and others. This one we know it already. Let's go to the next part conjunctions. Look at the board. Conjunctions in Russian, Sayuz. In Tajik, Paivandak. Why? From the word conjunct, it means connect. Okay? So, conjunctions are connecting words. Pai bandak ho in kalima in kalimaoy. Pai bandak pai vas mekunan. Okay. So in in Russian you call it sayuz. Why? Sayidinayet. You understand? And now 
we have coordinating conjunctions, Luce. We have coordinating conjunction. What is coordinating conjunction? This is part one, and this is part two, okay? Coordinating conjunctions are the conjunctions when we connect two same things. Naruska kagdam mi sa idinayem dve fraza eli dve chas katore smisil adzinakava katore vrema adzinakava katore idea adzinakava mi ispolsegen coordinating conjunctions. In English, we use coordinating conjunctions if we connect two same ideas, two same tenses, two same times, or two things that joins or that connects each other in a good way. Basa bonito jiki. Pai vandak. Pai vandak, okay? Coordinating conjunctions mo istipo da meparem agar du kisim ho do kisim ho e jumla ho da yak fikero bayon me knam yo da yak vak Ijiro me shabat yo akidai yakum kati akidai do you? Very good. Manoi on ho yakela hastan. You understand? Kadami sa idinayin dve deshi katore karasho pag hodi drudruga ni isposevin coordinating conjunction. Example. Hannah is my teacher and my friend. Why? Teacher and my friend connects or they can be good, good words to listen to. You understand? And why? Hannah is my teacher and Hannah is my friend. The same, the same topic. But sub subordinating conjunction, we use it when the meanings are not the same, when the results are not the same. Subordinating conjunctions mo isi for the memberem. Agar ya kung fraza, nisbatay do yung fraza, ya kela nestan, fatiay kalondoran. Example. I live in Hojand, part one. Okay. I live in Hojand, part one. My best friend lives in Panj. Panj, Kujan, North and South. Okay? So here, you need but. You understand? I live in Kujan, but my friend lives in Panj. Why? Protipo paloje. You understand? Another example. Although, although, look. Khatiabi on karushe yai mun nilublu. On karushe, vai khubast. He is good. I don't like him. Protivo paloje, right? Opposite, mukobal, mukobehoni mano. So look, although he is very kind, I don't like him. You understand? Another example. I argued with Hannah. I argued with Hannah. She doesn't understand me. Okay? Look. You put because. I argued with Hannah because she doesn't understand me. You understand? Two different tenses. I argued with Hannah. Past tense. She doesn't understand me. Present. You understand? Maksad, kolosaiga. Coordinating conjunctions, we connect two same ideas. Subordinating conjunctions, we connect different tenses, different ideas, different reasons. You understand what I mean? Naruskam no zanin paftari. Rasin sa mesh do coordinating conjunction is subordinating conjunction. Ah, wasano, naruskam is Mm -hmm. 
предложение из других преподов, из других другой части. Uh -huh. И они говорят нам одну и ту же мысль, они говорят нам одну и ту же идею, приносят. Uh -huh. А подчинительные союзы, то есть они противоположны друг другу, то есть одно предложение, когда противоречит другому предложению, тогда мы используем подчинительные союзы, чтобы показать то, что одно, например, Пас символ, другой present символ, то есть времена разные, и то, что они оппозиты в изучении, то есть они не контактируют друг с другом. Very good, good job. Did you understand? Корбон, хэс. Coordinating and subordinating. Very good. Did you understand? Lilo, look at the board. Now, the next part of speech is verb. Okay. Verb or verbs. Glagol, fe'l. You understand? So, verbs are action words. Ha may harakot hoi mo verbs hastan. Se na shay dvijeni eta verb. You understand? Example, regular, irregular, auxiliary verb, modal verb. Regular, we add ed, d, i, e, d. We know that. Talk, walk, cook. Irregular verbs change form. Buy, bought, bought, see, saw, seen, do, did, done, and others. We know that, okay? We also have auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary, it means accessoria. Auxiliary means accessories, okay? Example, ox of your car. When you sit in the taxi, you said, Aka ox do red. Ox, you know why? What is the sim? Cable, katori sa idinay to ay telephone e. Eta radio. That's why you call it ox. It is because it's an auxiliary. You understand? Everything. Your charger is an auxiliary. Why? It it is useful for your main phone. Let's say, for example, this charger. Okay, this charger. This one is an auxiliary. Two. This one. Why? This is the main thing. At the glove name. Okay? Why? This is the big thing that we connect to the plug. But this one is an accessory or auxiliary. You understand? So auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verbs are your am, is, are, do, does, did, have, has, had, and others. You understand? And modal verbs. We discussed this already. Felhoi modali. Madal ni glagol. Can, could, may, might, shall, should, and others. Panyatna, what is verb? Okay? Now, let's move forward to interjections. Interjections are funny words that we add to your sentence to show emotion. In Russian, it is mezdo mete. In Tajik, nido or fosilako. Example, Oof in Russian. <laughs> yeah. Oof in Russian it's Mejdomete. In Tajik, E Chodo, E Bacha. You understand? It's Nido. In English, we have the same. Yeah, I've been I've been in Tajikistan for eleven years, so I know all of your Nidoho or Fusilako. E Tuchtachokadi. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Or, or this bratan, and also this a, and when you are tired, oof, like this. And remember what I always say. If you are always with me, can you remember what I always say about me doing oof? Oof is a very bad thing. Okay, oof. It's very wrong. My mother always tells this oof, oof, oof. We have this like. <sighs> yeah, I always, I all, I used to do this when I was in the Philippines. <sighs> and my mom said, "Stop this, okay? Why? 
instead of saying uh or instead of saying of say khodoba shukur alhamdulillah why khodoba shukur to zindai thanks god slava boguti jivaya minoga chilavek khatyat ji no onik nieto vas mojnas okay you understand that's why you are nido of uberi another type of nido or interjection which is very very common look this oops when somebody step on your foot oof or oops and if you do not like anything yak yak is your foo in russian in russian or tajik you say foo okay and then you should call it yak yak like that foo and lol is your it's it's your he 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 ha 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 like that next OMG, it's your oboje, okudo. Then ouch is your kadabalit. Ouch. So interjections are your words of emotions. Okay? Nido, mesdomiate. Next, adjectives. We know that. Adjectives are words used to describe nouns. In Tajik, sifat ho isemrota lil meknat. In Russian, we have beautiful, cheap, expensive, and others. And we discussed this. We have base form, comparative, and superlative. Remember, bigger, big, bigger, the biggest, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, itagdali. And now let's go to adverbs. Zarf. Nareche. Okay? Adverbs are words used to describe verbs. Adjectives or another adverbs. But tojiki in Tajik, zarfo tali medihad felho sifatho badigar zarfo. In Russian, nareche apisavit glagole, such a priglagatilni i drugoi nareche. You understand? For adverbs, we add ly, 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 ly to most of the adjectives. Example, quiet is the adjective, sifat. Quietly is zar. Slow, slowly. Careful, carefully. Gentle, gently. Peaceful, peacefully. Loud, loudly. Soft, softly. Beautiful, beautifully. You understand? But we also have irregular adverbs like fast, fast. Understood? Adverbs, zav. And the last one, articles. Okay, we know that. Articles, article in Russian and in Tajik, article ho. We have definite, indefinite, and no articles. Article hoy muayan, article hoy no muayan, be the article in Russian, a prizilioni, nia prizilioni, in yet article. You understand? And we know that already. If we want to talk about something that is exact, unique, or in order, we use the, the or the. You understand? Now I will check your knowledge about this article. T H E. We can pronounce it uh, as the. Or the. When do we say the and when do we say the? Mwali ma Jerilyn Chiguftai. Miss Jerilyn, what did she say? Mr. Mano, what did she say? Mr. Temur, what did he say? Mr. Joshua, Mr. Sefas, what did they say? <laughs> When do we use, listen, when do we use the and when do we use the? Hmm. <laughs> listen, we use the, the, okay, the, if after the is a consonant. The book the car, the dog, the teacher, the school, the learning center. We say the if after the 
is a consonant letter. You understand? And V, we use it if after is a vowel. You, yeah, now you know that. So that's the reason why Americans and British people, they will say the United States of America, the oranges, the apples, and others. You understand? Again, the consonants, the vowels. But, there's a very big but. You can say the if you want to put emphasis to something. Yes, it is. Kochish dayot kudarenya na shot fat katorin skora tiras kajudesh. Dashi eta consonant ti moshas kazat v. You understand? Agatu mefuri zada dagurai madumot tu metuni v istifoda mebari dashi eta ni vowel. Example. I've seen, I've seen the president. Why? You want to put udarenye that you saw the president of the United States of America. Look, I've seen the president. Really? The president of the, the United States of America? You understand why? Because you want to tell everyone that I saw president of USA. You understand? And the next one is articles A and N. We, we know that. A for consonants and N for vowels. And no articles. We cannot use articles for name of people. Look. In Arabic, in Arabic, Al. You know that, right? Or no? Al, it's in Arabic. Al, it means the. And you can use it to names. Al Maktoum, Al Hana, Al Joshua, Al Sharja. You understand? Al is the Arabic of article the. In Arabic, you can use article the to names of people. But in English, cannot. Okay? So there is no article for names of people, there is no article for proper nouns. Did you understand? What are the nine parts of speech? Noun, noun, noun preposition, pronouns, conjunctions, verbs, verbs, interjections, adjectives, adverbs, articles. Now, I will ask you one by one. No one will look on the board. If you are sitting here, you look here. If you are sitting here, you look there. Okay? Let's start. No one will look at the board. Stand up for board. Nigo na ko ne I will tell it in English and you tell me in Tajik or Russian everything that I said about this part of speech. Okay? Tell me about verbs. Do not look at the board. Verbs. Balan. No, no. Verb. Verb. Fell. Okay. How many types of verbs did Hannah explain today? What are the four? That's Kaji. Four. What are those? Regular. Regular, irregular, auxiliary. Modal verbs. Okay, I said about regular, irregular, auxiliary, and modal verbs. Okay, chor minus. Stand up, Malika. Do not look at the board. In Russian, louder. Can you tell me about interjections? Interjections. Uh huh. Example. Ouch. Uh -huh. Do not cheat. Oops. <laughs> and <laughs> Very good. Like law. Stand up. Conjunctions. Do not look at the board I said. Conjunctions. Look at this part. Uh, 
Very good. Sabrina, stand up now. I will put the camera on you if you if you continue looking at the board. Uh, Uh, it uh, it uh, or uh, it's, uh, it's a name of a person or thing or uh, or country. And then there are two kinds. Uh, uh, proper nouns and common nouns. Malades, good job. Next, Nozanin. Five plus, good job. Nozanin. <laughs> Can you tell me, do not look at the word Noza, can you tell me about adjectives? Uh, adjectives, I don't know, I feel like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, 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 very good. Next, hangoma. Hangoma. Articles. Malades. Very good. Answer my question, okay? Can you stand up? He didn't answer, right? Stand up. Naruska, ili Tajikska, Fak You can speak in Tajik, English, or Russian. When do we use the and when do we use the? The and the. Okay, the and the. What is the special use of the? I said that, right? We say we use the if after the is a vowel. But when can we use the even if it is a consonant? What did I say? If the call. Uh -huh. If you want to put emphasis on your information. Very good, good job. And the last question. In Arabic, al, we can use with names, right? But in English, can we say the Hannah? Oh, no. 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 Okay. And we only use articles if it is not a name of person. But look, we can say the iPhone, even if iPhone is a name of a phone. Why? Because we want to put emphasis. I'm using the iPhone. Of course, you want them to give that you're using a $2,000 phone. You understand what I mean? Yeah, people, they use that for slang, the iPhone. You understand? So, thank you so much for watching. Jum'a Mubarak. Pahamat.